Okay, now we've turned what was just product packaging into something that feels and sounds more like fabric. It's pretty cool. You can sew it and everything. So we're gonna take, this is just a small um, zipper that I had, so I'm gonna use this. We're gonna make a little pencil bag real quick. So you just need, see in the old days, I would like use all of this fabric. But I kind of really want that where it says harvest snaps. So I think I'm gonna cut here and here. Just inside that line and just inside this line. Maybe you have a favorite snack that you want to use. That would be cool. Okay. That'd be a cute pencil bag. All right, I want to, I think, put a little piece on each end of the zipper here. So I'm going to Just like that. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm not measuring anything. <laughs> I'm not measuring a dang thing. All right, I've got the big sewing machine out. This is a Foff 1546 with a differential feed. It's made to sew multiple layers of thick, heavy fabric. I generally don't use it for something like uh, mixed media, but I have used it many, many times on this vinyl fabric, so I know it works great on this. And bonus, it already has white thread in it, so I don't have to re-thread anything. Now, if you're not familiar with sewing, you don't sew on a machine. You definitely could do this by hand. There is nothing wrong with that. And it's very, very doable by hand. It's just gonna take you a little longer. All right. So if you're doing this by hand or by machine, first take your little scraps, put the right side of your vinyl fabric next to the, this is the right side of the zipper because the pull is right here, right here. So put the right side together and we're gonna, don't hit this metal thing, we're gonna sew a seam across the bottom of the zipper right below that little metal stop that's right there. I do probably actually have to change my zipper foot, but again, if you're using a, if you're doing it by hand or using a different kind of machine, do what's appropriate to your machine. So I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Let me get this on here. This is not closing. There we go. certainly could pin things if you so choose. I'm not going to. But you want to sew. Can you see that? You want to sew right across here. Here's the little stop and you want to sew across here so that when you fold it back it looks like that. And then I'm going to trim this to be the same width as the zipper. Right, and then we're gonna do the same thing to this other end where the zipper pull is at. Now because there's a zipper pull here, I'm gonna pull it back just a little bit, like this. Just because it'll be easier to sew and I can ensure that that pull is not in my way. And I'm not gonna push the two ends of the zipper completely together. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap, I think, like an eighth of an inch. 
for sale. I'm also not sewing very straight, but you know, it's one of those days. Okay, so now we have this on that side. And again, I'm going to trim it to the same width as the zipper. I'm going to trim the extra vinyl fabric most of it off, leave about a quarter of an inch on either end. Okay. Now we're going to take this whole piece, uh, right sides of the zipper and its little end pieces to the right side of our vinyl fabric and we are going to center it and then sew it down. Now this is like a vinyl plasticky fabric now so any holes you poke in it are going to stay there. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, so you want to use a longer stitch length and if you want to hold it down of course you could pin it or tape it. You could also paper clip it. So I'm going to actually grab a couple of paper clips okay. and I'm going to paper clip it down. Take the paper clips out um, before you sew everything together. Okay. I'm going to take the camera down and give you a little bit different cam camera angle as I do this. There we go. So I'm sewing the other side of the zipper in and I'm going to coax that zipper pull out of my way. So I've taken the zipper and with right sides together I sewed it down one side and then I sewed it down, I opened it and sewed it down the other side. Now um, having it be open from here on out is kind of important. If when you're trying to sew your zipper on your fabric because you've made a vinyl slippery plasticky fabric, don't use pins because the more holes you poke in this, the uh, more holes will stay. They aren't going to go anywhere. Um, to hold, to center everything and hold it in place, use paper clips. Um, you can sew the zipper in by hand. You don't have to do it by machine. But if you're doing it by machine, just make sure you're using your zipper foot. Um, it will aid you. Go slow. Um, when you get down here to the end where the pull is, if you're doing, I, can, I haven't sewn the side yet, so I can do this. So when you're doing the first side, we started at this end, sewed all the way down here. Before I got to where this little pull is, I reached in here, I stopped with the needle in the down position and lifted the presser foot up and then opened up my zipper so the pull is out of my way and then I finished sewing. When I went down the other end, I sewed as far as I could to the pull, again stopped with the needle in the down position, lifted the presser foot up and pulled the zipper pull again out of my way to finish sewing so that I can get a nice even line. Before you do anything else though you want to open the zipper all the way. Alright, now we are going to take our sides of our fabric and this little piece at the end where we have that extra fabric, I'm going to use my scissors, I'm going to close them and I'm going to poke that little extra piece of fabric we sewed to either end of the zipper up and pull this down tight and then I'm going to sew all the way down the side. I could change zipper foots for this but I'm not going to. Okay. Oops. Guess what? I ran out of bobbin thread. Dang it! Yes, I did. All right, I'm going to re-thread that and I'll be back. I said I wasn't going to change the bobbin thread. Well, I figured I had to change the, I mean, change the presser foot. Well, I had to change the bobbin thread, so I figured I'd change the presser foot. All right, so let's try that again, shall we? Okay. 
Go back and forth at the beginning and the end, just a little bit. Don't do too much, because again, you're gonna poke holes in your fabric. So again, I'm gonna close this just a little bit. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna poke them in right here so I can really lift this fabric up, the little end piece of fabric I stuck on there. I'm gonna pull this down. And we're gonna sew this down. All right, before you do anything else, you want to trim your seams. We're going to cut away a little bit of fabric at the corners, do a little bit of a triangle. Top and bottom. I'm going to trim the, the seam allowance down to about an eighth of an inch. This fabric is not going to ravel, so you don't need to worry about it unraveling or anything. You do want to be careful when you turn it right sides out because if anything, if you're too rough with it, you've made it into a fabric, but honestly, it's made out of packaging material, so be careful. <sighs> all right, now I'm going to reach in here gently and I'm going to open my zipper the, all the way. And then I'm going to turn it right side out. Just go slow. It doesn't turn easily, so you really just need to take your time with it. I used to do a lot of these with coffee bean bags, and then the bag just always smelled like coffee, which if you don't like the smell of coffee, it was bad, but I love the smell of coffee. Okay, and I'm just sticking my finger in there to get the little corners up, or trying to. You don't really want to use any of your standard corner uh, tools for popping out corners. You really don't want to use anything more than your finger because again, this is you've made it into a sturdier fabric than it was originally as a potato chip bag, but it is still a potato chip bag. How cute is that? <laughs> How cute is that little little pencil pouch? There you go. So you could definitely sew this by hand and do all of the same things I did on the machine. Just do it by hand. Um, it's not hard. Um, just use a um, nice, strong, sturdy needle and thread and take your time. That's all. Um, have some fun with it. And you definitely even could do this without turning it right uh, inside out. Right side out. You could do it with all the edges showing if you so wanted. I'm going to give you a few more ideas this week on what you can do with this kind of fabric and this kind of material. But here's one if you want to um, experiment with your sewing machines and break out those sewing machines and your potato chip bags and combine the two. Look at the cute stuff you can make. All right, that's it for right now. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're not part of the My Year 2017 Facebook group, which is what this video is for, and you want to join, the link to that group, my other Facebook group, my Etsy shop if you want to support the channel, my ma mailing address for Happy Mail, all of that stuff's in the description, so check it out. Um, and of course, the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye guys.